Hello, ciao! <laughs> welcome back to everyone. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, we see us again uh, after, let's say, a long time. Soon you, you will know why. <laughs> any case first of all please let me know if you can hear and you can see me ciao 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 welcome 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 here today is special special dish to finish our let's say month dedicated to squash butternut squash so today um, we are going to make tortelli it's a kind of raviolo with pumpkin inside and um, let me know please write it down i check <laughs> i check on the mobile if you are online if you mm -hmm. let me know if you can hear and you can yeah, i'm here <laughs> super <laughs> i can see me that's wonderful anyway anyway just to finish as I said, the month dedicated to squash, and we make uh, tortelli. And um, for thank you, thank you so much. First of all, to everyone to be here to be in this group because now after let's say just uh, seven eight months, uh, we reach the wonderful number of thirty thousand members. And I thank you, thank you very much to all of you. And uh, for the last one that joined the group and uh, they have never seen me, I'm Francesca, I'm the founder of the group and uh, from time to time I cook live uh, for all of you from uh, Tuscany, <laughs> from the center of uh, Tuscany. I am uh, 40 kilometers south of Florence in the countryside. So let's start uh, and uh, <clears throat> first of all I want to show you I have of course prepared some things already but first of all I want to show you how to prepare the squash I have already prepared this goes in the oven as uh, the previous time in some other recipes that I have made uh, with a difference that in this case we have show you we have the onions onions is cut it look this way very 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 thin and the squash is cut it in small pieces and very thin. You have to lay in the uh, oven tray in this way with, um, it's, uh, I don't know, I don't remember the name, parchment, parchment paper or something like that. Anyway, you know, <laughs> the paper for the oven and uh, you have to make it in this way for two reasons. First, it cook quickly. And secondly, it um, and secondly, it uh, dry much more because what we want, we don't need, uh, let's say, water. Okay, so must a little bit dry. No salt, no oil, nothing. Just in this way. Okay, in the oven. Then I will write as always everything. And uh, ciao Sandra, ciao Anna. Okay, I can see you. <laughs> I can see that you are watching but I don't see any comments so I will check through the mobile don't worry so um, will be in the oven if uh, better if you have ventilation system so it has to dry okay so this is the first step that of course uh, I have already prepared so this is the result okay it has to stay in the oven about 25 minutes or something like that. Oh, the water is boiling already. <laughs> so, and now I have already prepared. Pasta, okay, the, the layers of pasta to make then the uh, tortelli. How I have made this, uh, you have a video I think it's the last one that I have done for um, in which was a pumpkin lasagne something like that the last video that I have made I wasn't there live it was just a registered video but you can find in the um, playlist that you in the YouTube channel and anyway this is made ciao Natalie <laughs> good morning <laughs> 
Ciao! Jo Joanna, Joanna, I don't know, sorry for <laughs> any mistake in pronunciation. Anyway, this is made in with uh, 100 grams of uh, double zero flour, so that is your plain flour, and uh, one egg. This is per person, okay? But you have it in the video, okay? So I have already prepared the layers, okay? The, 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 yes, lay, no, it's not the layers, this is the, okay, it doesn't come the, <laughs> the word for this, but anyway, this is for our lovely tortelli. So let's get started, one second, put it here, and I put you down. Ciao Sandra, ah, one thing that I have forget to say to you, uh, you know, in my machine, this has been made with pasta machine, let's say, by hand, and uh, you know, there are notches, so I was going from zero to five, to let you understand, uh, my machine goes from zero to nine, and so I was just going from zero to five, okay? If you want, you can go also to six, And but this is depends, it's up to you how you want to fill your pasta under your tea, okay? So I prefer to fill it much more, so that's why I stop it at five, okay? So this is how I did this. Then, Let's start with the filling. Ciao Gina, ciao Jim. So, okay, I think you can see me. Okay, first of all, we take our lovely squash ready and we just mash it. Okay, as you have seen in the last, in the in the video for, for lasagne you mash it a little bit tell me any case if you as always if you don't have any if you have any question please write it down Just smash it. If you want, you can also use, let's say, a blender. Okay, so it's up to you. I prefer to do it this way also because then I feel also the consistency of it. It's not just the cream. Good that it's so thick, okay. It must be thick in this way, okay. So wash her away, let's see. And when it's in the oven, you don't have to cover with nothing, it has to evaporate everything. The water, waterish part must go completely, okay. Remember nothing, no salt, no oil. Nothing because now we do it in the filling. So now we take our lovely squash. Can you see me? Yes, perfect. Then, here we have ricotta cheese. 
I was, look, it's in this, this lovely container and it was draining, okay? So take away as much water as possible, hmm? okay? We put, let's see, one tablespoon and an half, let's see. That's all. one side because on the table is full of things <laughs> and uh, we mix it and you see the onions I love then to feel the onions inside also a little bit more of another spoon of ricotta because from a point of view it's not too much white of course ricotta okay the proportion i will give the proportion that i use but you can also make your own proportion if uh, depending if you like much more to fill the squash or the ricotta so the proportion can be made uh, as you like. So, let me continue it in this way. So, now we can add, we have Parmigiano cheese and we put it inside. We mix again a little bit must be thick inside okay and now nutmeg i like <laughs> very much so i put uh a bit more okay I think uh, a big quantity and uh, now we add uh, just a very small pinch of salt we mix and filling is ready okay Filling is ready, so we put in one side. We flour a little bit the surface here. We put our oops, yes. Okay. So we start, I take a small spoon and we make in this way just a small teaspoon, okay. So first of all, I, wait, I consider, let's say, yeah, half part here. So, but I would love a weight to move because, uh, and put this part in the opposite side, sorry, because when you go up, let's say in this way, hmm, the biggest part must stay on, okay? So, I will go from here. Distance between the two is between three and four centimeters. So let's say one inch and a half, something like that. So this way, let me see if I can do more. Mm, no. So what we do now, glass of water, with your fingers, you just make 
the sides a little bit wet also in the middle between sorry between one and another this way this is for of course to seal and also this part and we close okay so first press in one side then with your hand let's say seal also between them this way and then try to put out the air from inside look in this way and seal okay and then here also Also here there is a little bit of air, so we put it out and also a little bit here. So be sure to press, oh here there is a little bit of, of air also. So then I have this shape and we just cut it so our tortelli okay so then let me see can Okay. So this also this side. <laughs> there you are. Mm. This is too small. I will make it by hand. Okay, these are super lovely. To so this is small. This is also I show you how to do in case you don't have something like this. Okay, you cut with a knife. This, of course, you can rework in the machine and then make others. Okay. So make it a little bit round if you want to maintain a the round shape just a bit I'm not a giotto okay I'm not able to make a super <laughs> anyway then when you are around then to seal just then press in this way okay with the fork okay and this is of course something that I will do much more softly but also here so. so it's very nice I love them they are like some flowers of the summer so I will do another another one because <laughs> otherwise uh, the, the dish is too small okay so so we do it this way so this is the smaller and this is the bigger so this we put it on okay so we start again
But anyway, I have three, la three layers of pasta so I can go over. Wait. We go on with all of them and I can take another one to go over. Hmm, okay, smaller, but okay, we try to do it. We try. So, first of all, washer. Just water, no eggs, otherwise uh, it uh, became, so, from my point of view, too chewy. Okay, pasta became too chewy, so I would prefer in this way. Of course, uh, you can take a brush, but I made, uh, let's say, granny way. Okay, so let's go. Let's try to go over, even if it's a little bit. We try, yeah. Huh? <laughs> it's a little bit smaller. This is a, a mistake that I have done, but any case, we will try to recover. So we start and then we, we press in the middle. So I usually go towards me. So I press here before in the upper part towards me and then I press the sides. And then to take out the water, I do in this way, press and seal, press, then the water comes out from here and seal, here and seal. Look, I, can, I don't know if you can see the, when it's bubbling and comes out, the water, the air, sorry, not the water, the air. So, let's make shapes. Let me see. Now that the washer is, is boiling. So. Mm -hmm. Now there is one side that doesn't work properly. Oh, it's me that I don't press. Of course, it's me that I don't press enough. Do you have any question? Please let me know. A little bit of air inside. Okay, I don't want to open. If it happens that it is already sealed around and you see that there is like a, like a little bit of air, you just make a hole with the with a fork and then seal again with the water. Sorry, I let you dance also. <laughs> I also let you dance. Yes, was me that I didn't press so much. <laughs> Any case. It's okay. So Ooh, this is not out. Okay. This I will rework. So 
click, click, click. Seal again. Let's see if it freezes. Today is super sunny in Turkmen. So, water now is boiling, so we can put in the water. Uh, this. Of course, uh, this passage, when you have seen one, uh, then uh, you can uh, put in front uh, <laughs> the video and uh, goes at the end. Anyway, at the end, when I do with the water. So now I move you and let me know if, if everything is okay. Tell me if you can see everything also here. And I have, yeah, okay. Washer is boiling. So what we need uh, is a little bit of oil in the washer and also of course uh, sea salt okay and we put our lovely ravioli have for the sauce let's say butter and sage but then I will show you two different types of finishing let's say okay so here I just put the sage in this way and I put the heat on The ravioli will, will cook very fast. So. I think I'm flowered everywhere. <laughs> Can you see everything? In the meantime, ciao Amanda, ciao Carmen Anna, ciao, ciao, ciao. I check in my mobile if there is uh, some questions. Meantime, that we... Sembrano girasoli, yes, uh, like uh, <laughs> some flowers, yes. Oh, Erika. So, uh, yes, yes, ciao, Anna, Evelyn. Yes, there is another video in which uh, you can see how I made pasta. What they call different, Erico. Okay, just one second. Okay, for the same things uh, we can, uh, let's say there are so many different names, okay? 
for instance, uh, we call tortelli in this way, but it could be also, for instance, there are some kinds of tortelli that they are ravioli shaped. So it's uh, we have in different places of of Italy we have the same pasta with so many different names. Chamanda. So I put you down because I wanted to see. Our ravioli are almost ready. So I put up the, the butter and sage, and here I put also a little bit of oil. Okay. They want that. Our Sage fry slightly. Can you see it's this frying slightly? It's almost ready, and then we can make the dish. Mm -hmm. I love this uh, simple sauce. Even if then uh, I will show you two different kinds of refined this. While the sage is frying, Also, our lovely ravioli. And I like to say I finished them here. Just this, I put it off. This, I just, I don't move so much. Just let them fry one minute. Move down the heat. In the bottom doesn't matter because then in the dish we will put it on this way. So. Okay, our tortelli are ready, and now I put them in two different dishes. So let's see how many do they are. I want to make two dishes the same. Okay, yes, they are ten. So okay, one dish. And another one. Okay, now I want it on. <laughs> okay, so put the switch on it. I want to show you In both ones. In both dishes, we put, of course, the sauce, and then I show you. So, 
Now I move you again. So I show you. Any questions is uh, <laughs> welcome. I put you here again. Wait. So I show you. I move a little bit some things. Okay. Now you don't see. So or you can eat in this way just with 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 with. Parmesan, okay, and pepper, okay, this is one way, hmm? but this is my taste, okay, so as you point you, if you don't like, uh, <laughs> don't do it. Honey, so just a little bit of honey around, just to give sweetness. Because inside, I remember there is uh, the squash and it's sweet. So just to recall the sweetness. So just around, okay? So parmesan pepper and uh, honey, or without honey, okay? Second one. Hmm? I have here a little bit of bechamel sauce. Hmm? Then I put a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Hmm? Then I put one spoon of the water of the, the uh, non ravioli tortelli. So two tablespoons, you mix, you make it liquid, a little bit more to make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more liquid, and then you go on, okay? And of course, pepper. Okay, so this is the other type. So, same dish to different finishing, let's say. So, so if you have any question, Tell me, write it down, then later, when I have eaten, I will write down all the ingredients as always. And I don't know what to choose because they are so yummy both. And uh, as always, not so many ingredients. How with honey, that sounds, uh, yeah, with honey. Um, sometimes when I have guests, uh, they say, oh, honey, no, 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 honey. Um, try just on one but try because the combination it's really delicate really delicate so try can you cut one and a half yes sure one second you will see how it's inside we choose we choose one okay I don't want that it goes. This is scattered. So you can see. Can you? <gasps> I knew this. <laughs> so I take the other one. <laughs> because there is the, the uh, bechamel. So wait, I take the other one. I, think, uh, I put it here. Wait. So you can see better. And hopefully it stays. This is inside. Il primo, the first. So, Elga, decide for the first. So, this is inside, okay? 
so it's quite orange 6 a.m. and it looks so good <laughs> it's yummy it's very yummy I love them I love very much is there one kind of pasta fillet pasta I like very very much any case if you have any question write it down thank you so much again for following we see us very 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 soon again and um, I wish you a happy 31st and 1st November and uh, we see us very soon right down to the YouTube channel don't forget ciao ciao Janine ciao 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 ciao